Good morning from the Netherlands and welcome to a new update. We had some stronger seismic events in the last few days. Yesterday, a magnitude 5.9 at the Turkey-Iran border region. It was the only significant seismic event in the last two days. Previously, on the 26th, we had two seismic events, 5.7 at the Molaka Sea and a borderline 6 at the Kermadec Trench. And all this seismic activity followed on the lunar peak <coughs> that we had on the 26th, which was partly due to the lunar conjunction with Jupiter. We're going to have some critical planetary lunar geometry today and tomorrow. As you can see on this SGI graph, we have on the 29th and the 30th <coughs> planetary peaks indicating Mercury and Venus in critical positions. On the 30th, we have a planetary conjunction with Mercury, Venus and Jupiter, which may, the, may be the most significant geometry in the next few days. But later today we already have some critical planetary geometry also involving Mercury and Venus and that is marked by the dashed lines here on the 29th. And then we see the planetary conjunction with Mercury, Venus and Jupiter the next day. Apart from the critical planetary geometry, I marked lunar geometry with green lines and these are lunar conjunctions with Uranus which occurred early this morning and we have another one early on the 31st and that's a conjunction with Mars. My estimate is that the largest seismic event, if it's going to happen in the next few days, will be on the 31st. This planetary and lunar geometry is converging with additional lunar geometry, this is the green line through, from the Earth to Venus and Saturn and that is also happening today and tomorrow. And that could actually cause seismic activity to go up, possibly into the high 6 magnitude range, maybe even magnitude 7. Again, my estimate is that if that is going to happen, it would be around the 31st. Overall, we see a clustering, a significant clustering of critical planetary and lunar geometry on the 29th, 30th and uh, into the 31st. So, <clears throat> we shouldn't underestimate that. And if you look at atmospheric fluctuations, the most significant fluctuations that we picked up in the last week, they are from the 23rd, 24th and 25th, actually marking the 29th, 30th and 31st if we add six days. The first fluctuation went over the Pacific, the Aleutian Islands, Andrianov Islands in the north, and the Solomon Islands, maybe the Santa Cruz Islands, maybe even down to the Loyalty Islands, Vanuatu, not sure, but that could happen later today if we take into account that fluctuation on the 23rd. It is a rough estimate. Another fluctuation, or actually two fluctuations, additional fluctuations, that we picked up on the 24th and 25th went over Asia again, similar to the fluctuation on the 18th, and it is from Lake Baikal in the north down into the Indian Ocean, marking this part over Asia. It, again, it is a rough estimate and it could indicate upcoming larger seismic activity in or near that purple band. And if we take into account the six days, that would be the 30th or the 31st. These are rough estimates. It is not at all certain that these are the only areas that will experience larger seismic activity in the next few days. Other regions on the planet are certainly not excluded. Please keep that in mind. Atmospheric fluctuations can be significant indicators, but it's not 100%. But it's interesting that these fluctuations um, are repeating itself over Asia, similar to what we had on 18 January, which was actually followed six days later by a magnitude 5.6 in Nepal. So all in all, the convergence of critical planetary and lunar geometry on 29th, 30th of January could indicate upcoming larger seismic activity. Like I said, this could already happen later today in the Pacific, possibly. But certainly on the 30th and the 31st. My estimate is that the largest seismic activity is probably going to occur on the 31st. Or around the 31st. And that is based on the critical planetary lunar geometry. And also the atmospheric fluctuations on the 24th and 25th. This is what we have so far. Be on extra alert in the next few days. It could become pretty critical. Until next time. <laughs>